So today I'm going to give a tutorial on how you can create drums inside main stage. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a channel strip and the way you do that is you press Alt, Command and I and that should just create one for you. Now we need to find the Ultrabeat plugin. The Ultrabeat plugin is something I've recently used so you can see it's available at the top for me. Uh, but if you just scroll down and click here, you should be able to find it. And if we open it up in stereo, we'll be ready to go. If we uh, open up the plugin and we go to drum kits, I think it is, and we click on drag and drop samples, we should have a fresh instance of the plugin ready for us to load in stuff. You can always rename some of the individual samples themselves, just like I'm doing now, uh, just for ease of use. just clicking on the individual samples and pressing load sample and going to the desktop where I put the samples for ease of access for this little tutorial. If you just load them in one by one, you'll have the makings of a drum kit. So just changing the name of the patch. And now I'm going to view and I'm going to press show inspectors so that I can see below and I can see the attributes for the patch. Then I press change tempo and then I change it to something more suitable for a standard kind of dance track or something of this nature with 128 BPM or something like this. I mean, you can create drum loops in a variety of different styles using this technique, but this is just something quick. And as you can see, when I press space bar, the play button lights up and flashes on and off and the sequencer moves forward. So if I go to kick and I click on different points in the bar, as you can see me doing, um, right then the sample was actually very distorted. So I've just turned it down a bit. That's much better. So all good to carry on. And I'll just do the same for the others because I expect that they'll be quite similar. So here I'm putting in a fairly basic kick pattern uh, at the start of each bar um, just to kind of give us something to work with so we can build the other drums around this. Another feature you can also use is the accent and this is just above um, each point on the grid and you can change how much the beats are accented by in terms of loudness. So I've just scaled it back from 6 dB to about 3 dB. Now I'm going to add an offbeat uh, snap And you can kind of see how it starts to take shape when you add different elements in. Now if we repeat the procedure and do the same with the claps, I'll probably pull these down a little bit. There we go. Of course, if it's going to be a dance EDM style beat, then we need to have some white noise. So I found this sample, uh, it's just kind of like a swooshing sound effectively and just put it on the start of every single bar and they're just trying to find the right level now. So now I'm programming in the hi-hats. This is a little bit more complicated than just the kick drum and kind of snap and stuff like this. The reason being is because you want it to kind of sound realistic and the way to kind of emulate or perhaps a real drummer is to add a bit of velocity variation. So that's why I'm changing the heights of the actual notes themselves because this corresponds to volume. So I found something that I'm pretty happy with, just making some final tweaks now, just so it sits well. And then all good. Just added one more sample right at the start, which is just a crash, as you can see. Just added some EQ compression uh, and now you can just hear the, this in context with something.